Hello, the purpose of the video today is to go over how to install the Screen Connect client in order for us to be able to connect to your computer remotely so that we could troubleshoot any issues that you're having or just take a look at the screen that you're seeing. The first step will be for us to go ahead and install the client. So what we'll do is open up the browser that you currently use. In our case, it's going to be Google Chrome. Okay, once we get there, we're going to go ahead at the top and type in the URL of the website that we need to go to. The site that we're going to go to is support.infinowiz.com. Once we go ahead and get to the welcome screen that says join with a code, um, the person who will be working on your issue or who is setting up the Screen Connect session for you will provide you with the code for your session. In our case today, the session code is going to be 14839. Your code will be different, obviously, once um, you are ready for us to get connected. Once you type that in, you can go ahead and click on the green button to join. It'll go ahead and start installing the client for us here. In most cases, it will show up for you down here at the bottom. Once it's downloaded, it'll be ready to open. In some cases, or depending on the browser that you're using, if it's not Chrome, it might not show up here at the bottom. Um, and it might not tell you once it's fully done downloading. So what you'll need to do is go ahead and go to File Explorer, go to your downloads, and you'll see this elsinore.screenconnect.client that gets installed, that's the file that we just downloaded. You can go ahead and just manually open it up from here by double clicking or just right click and click open. In our case though, it does show up for us in the section below. It's already downloaded. Let's go ahead and open it up. It'll launch the application. Um, in some cases, it will ask you to provide administrative approval to launch the application. In our case, it did not. We can go ahead and take a look. Now we've got our two little icons for Screen Connect and it's running. It does show that our test session is now active and just waiting for the host to get connected, which would be us on our end. This is actually all that you would need to do. At this point, um, the session is ready to get connected and you would just let the tech know who is working with you, that it's been installed, and then we'll be able to go ahead and get connected remotely. Thank you so much for watching this video.